Welcome to Horological Destination USA. I'd like to share my experience to Pennsylvania, which has a surprising number of horological uh, attractions and destinations, in addition to being an absolutely beautiful destination, uh, one of the most fertile parts of the country, rolling hills, Amish country, a lot of Americana, local eateries and breweries, uh, really just a great place to visit. I went to Lancaster, the birthplace of Hamilton. I was invited by Brent's Miller Jewelers to film in their store. The store hosted a uh, watch enthusiast in the region, uh, at, you know, just a meetup in their store. And that was a lot of fun, seeing old faces and meeting new people, uh, putting faces to screen names that I've interacted with for years now on YouTube. Uh, so that was a blast. Anyways, I filmed... I want to say about 20 watches when I was in the store creating content. Watches that I've really been looking forward to seeing in person. And there were about four or five that I was just sorely tempted to purchase. I don't have the budget to come home with four or five new watches right now. My wife would uh, would not be happy if I did that. But I did come home with a Breitling. More on that in a minute. Uh, but I filmed some amazing watches that I'm personally really interested in. So over the next month, you'll see reviews of various watches from Seiko to Breitling to Grand Seiko, Omega, Tudor. So uh, all of that will be coming on my channel in the next, you know, three, four weeks. So I was in the store filming. We had the watch enthusiast meetup. And here's one of the exciting things. I stayed in the old Hamilton factory. It's now luxury condominiums called Clock Towers. The owner of Brent Miller Jewelers purchased one of the condos that recently became available that actually has a safe, uh, not in the condo, but just down the hall on the next floor included with the purchase. So you can, um, well, I, I got to stay in the condo in the old Hamilton factory with the original brick and seeing the art, the related art to Hamilton all throughout the condos. And then, you know, going to look at the safe <laughs> that's part of the condo. And there's another safe that has the biggest door I've ever seen. I mean, the hinges, everything about it. That was really impressive. Uh, just a gorgeous building that is now on uh, the registry as an historic, uh, an historic piece of architecture. So that was awesome. And here's the exciting part. Ryan, the owner of Brent Miller Jewelers, he's opening this up to anybody who wants to come buy a watch from a store. And it's unlike anything that I've seen from another authorized dealer anywhere in the world. I think it's I think it's an awesome idea. So, you know, if you want to come buy a luxury watch, say you've been wanting to buy the new Speedmaster or the Chronoscope, which I have a video coming out on here pretty shortly, or say you love the new Navid Timer or the Steel and Gold, you know, a Black Bay GMT from Tudor. If, if you want to buy a luxury watch, well, come buy it from Brent Miller Jewelers and make an experience out of that purchase. Come stay in a horological destination in the United States. Come stay in the old Hamilton factory in that luxury condo. Uh, Ryan is offering that as a complimentary, uh, just a perk of buying a watch in the store. Uh, that beats any hotel. That's really cool. You know, go take a look at the National Watch and Clock Museum, which is uh, just down the road from Brent Miller Jewelers. Go up to Lidditz, get some uh, chocolate buds from Wilbur and take a look at the watchmaking school up there. If you're interested in becoming a watchmaker, uh, you know, if you want to take the family, <laughs> you go buy the watch, you go to the watch museum, send them to Hershey uh, to the theme park. Uh, there's so much fun things to do there. Great local food, obviously, you know, uh, these watch related destinations make a memory out of that experience. I did that. I was the first person to stay in this condo. I got some footage of the condo, obviously in the region, the building, and I bought a Breitling Navitimer, uh, just to commemorate this uh, visit out to Pennsylvania. I bought the reference 806, 1959 re-edition. This is what Breitling calls a 41 millimeter watch, but really that's measuring the beaded bezel here, the slide rule. So it wears more like a 40. It's thin, it's comfortable. It's a hand wind movement with a massive domed plexiglass crystal that carries a sapphire coating on the top 
to aid against, you know, getting scratched up and whatnot. The dial is beautiful. All of the font and everything is exactly like the original reference from 1959. It's just a watch that really speaks to me. So I'm wearing it. And every time I wear it, I remember this awesome experience I had going out to Pennsylvania, filming in the store, going to the watch enthusiast meetup, meeting fellow watch enthusiasts, staying in the Hamilton factory, visiting Lit. It's visiting the National Watch and Clock Museum and driving the Brent Miller M3 from the 80s. I didn't have to rent a car out there. I uh, was graciously uh, given the car to use for the couple of days that I was there. And I have not driven a five-speed like that from the 80s since I was in high school. So that brought back a lot of nostalgia for me. And it turned a few heads as I was driving around Lancaster. I had a few people uh, say, hey, that's an awesome car. Is that yours and stuff? And I'd say, no, I'm just borrowing it. It belongs to Brent Miller Jewelers. I mean, you see the the, the rap job, all of the advertising on the M3 with uh, Brent Miller Jewelers and then the brands that they carry. That was a blast. So absolutely awesome time out there in Pennsylvania at the horological destination here in the United States, not only to shop for luxury watches, but to see Americana and to experience the region and the different, uh, you know, the history that's involved there when it comes to watchmaking, going by the old Bowman Technical uh, Institute and seeing the observatory still visible on the top of that old brick building from the 1800s where they would check, you know, using the stars, the accuracy of their own chronometers when I was in the condo at, you know, the at clock towers that Brent Miller owns, I saw some uh, some really great marine chronometers that were there ticking away very loudly. That was so awesome to see. So uh, just a lot of great history in the region, a lot of good people, good food, good experiences, and I can't wait to go back. So I am planning on coming back hopefully later this year possibly in the fall. I'll keep you guys posted. I'd like to improve on that watch enthusiast meetup, make it more accessible, make it more enjoyable, and uh, hopefully a bigger event with other swag. I brought uh, you know, a gift set for anybody that attended that would like you know, channel-related swag. I brought a mug and a custom microfiber cloth, stickers and different things. And hopefully at the next one, I have some different swag for those of you that plan on attending there. And I'm already thinking, Hey, what could I buy next? You know, I saw some of these awesome watches in the store that have just been <laughs> in my mind. So, uh, looking forward to, to coming back out, making more purchases, making more memories and having a great time as a watch enthusiast. So I want to thank Brent Miller jewelers for hosting me. And I wanted to announce that those of you that are interested in staying in that luxury condo, it's, uh, I believe almost done being renovated, uh, Ryan just wants to, I think, redo the bathroom, uh, the master bathroom. Uh, but you're able to do that. If you want to come buy a Speedmaster, you want to come buy, you know, a luxury watch from Brent Miller Jewelers, make a memory of the experience, stay in the old Hamilton factory, bring the family and have a great time like I did. So links will be in the description of the video and content will be coming out over the next uh, four or five weeks of all the watches that I filmed out there and some of the other things that I did, like a separate video on the National Watch and Clock Museum, amongst other things. So guys, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Let's go. Yeah. I'm never gonna look back Cause damn I was built to last You move slow when I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes
move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take